السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته brother and sister in Islam uh, thank you for joining in and um, I'm really surprised I was surprised when I, I, I saw people just come in watching from Kenya from Belgium from Europe from the UK from Afghanistan Pakistan India uh, France uh, seriously I was really surprised I'm, I'm so happy as well that people can, I can this video or other videos can reach other people from different parts of the world I was just surprised but Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah thank you anyway for supporting thank you so much for joining and tuning in um, let's see and yeah America Dubai I just can't I just can't figure it out we, everywhere everywhere Egypt everywhere and um, okay what is the topic about the day today the topic is today about the Arafah's day and the days the 10 days before Eid or nine days before Eid mainly the nine days started already three days ago and we do keep doing uh, takbir in these in, in those days after Arafah's day and even after Eid day but the main important here main important advice here which I really really highly um, advise you guys to do uh, which is the dua Arafa Arafa's day dua Yawm Arafa dua Yawm Arafa um, I've been doing my research and they found lots of people they said oh all my, my dreams became true in, in the Arafa's day I spent the whole day um, kind of dua, making dua and stuff like that and uh, supplication to Allah and all my, my dreams came true and even um, the Sahaba people they used to be in living in Prophet Muhammad's time they used to write a list and they stated everything they want to ask Allah to give it to them and they got it already by the next year they got it already um, I've, I've like it's okay why why I'm not just uh, come and, and join that and join you and, and give you this advice um, me myself I will do that because now they said Dua Arafah is, is is known it's not like Laylatul Qadr Laylatul Qadr is unknown it's one of the 10 old days we not we don't know which one but at least Dua Arafah uh, day of Arafah is, is is known we know exactly the day and one of the sister was talking about the uh, Arafah's day and they said Allah has been there since Fajr for the whole day of Arafah he asking he asking people do you do you need any anything? Uh, I can, shall I reward it to you? I give it to you. Do you have any istighfar, um, forgiving? I give it to you. So we have to have a plan. We have to have a proper plan for the day of Arfa. From now on, if you miss a few days, it's okay. But keep doing Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah. Keep doing the Eid Takbir all the day as much as you remember. Keep doing good deed. Uh, keep um, we doing um, sadqa, a lot of sadqa as much as you can. If you can do um, extra prayer, that would be fine. We do fasting as well. And of course, we, we fast the day of Arafah. M most of us, we fasting the day of Arafah. Um, however, uh, if you manage to, to fast the day, some days before, that would be fine. And if you can't, just stick with the Arafah's day and make the most. Make the most of Arafah's day. This is your lucky day. This like a lucky star. Um, like, I don't know how to say, but it's a kind of treasure. This day, Allah accept, inshallah, may Allah accept all your du'as, but make a du'a, do not leave the day without any, you know, kind of um, activities. That day, try to just do dhikr, try to read Quran, try to um, to do the um, istighfar, um, make du'a for the whole day. So try to, to, you know, ask, just ask Allah for whatever, whatever you want, but make sure you ask for now and for year after as well do not just keep thinking oh Allah just give me a new house yes of course you can you can ask that but make sure you ask Allah as well to give you heaven to give you house in here and house in here after house now in this lifetime and in here after so when you do your dua just stick with the ayah number um, I think 201 in Surah Al-Baqarah oh Allah give us in the lifetime uh, good stuff and in the here after and good stuff and um, protect us protect us from the fire the hellfire so mainly we stay the dua to give Allah to give us stuff now and stuff in the future and stuff in the hereafter so whatever it is whatever it is even it looks like as, as, as I always said if it looks to you impossible it's very possible for Allah 
So just focus in your du'a and see, feel it in your heart. When you make a du'a, just feel it, feel it in your heart. As if you, you, you touch it, touch your heart when, when you make a du'a. And ask Allah, ask Allah sincerely that Allah gave you what you want. I find some sister said, well, um, we do, um, I done a list, I couldn't find the book anyway. They, some, some sister said, we do a list. We just get, um, this is a book, but anyway. Uh, yeah, this is a book. I have lots of books next to me. Yeah. Here we go. I have I have this one. I have this one. So I have the I have this one. So I keep my 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 dreams and my wishes and everything in here. So you guys can have something like that. And um, just stated, I today I wrote a list. Uh, I, I wrote here the dua yom arafa my my wishes uh, in, in Arafah's day, and I stated maybe up till now I stated ten. 10 wishes 10 stuff i want to happen to me mom in, in now and in hereafter as well i still if if you remember anything i'll just write it i'm gonna write it down as well so so what you you need to do guys is just keep writing all your wishes in a book in and in a piece of paper anything so when the day come when in on friday and this is, is not only arafa it's friday and arafa as well so it's double in this case you guys make it a list write a list wish list and this is your dua ask allah one by one one by one i want a house oh allah just give me a nice house oh allah give me a nice husband oh allah give me a nice uh, kids oh allah give me um i, gr I graduate from my, my college easily uh give me um a source of income a secure source of income uh use uh, allah's names allah al razzaq allah al wasa massive allah uh, the great allah al azim ar rahman ar rahim all the allah's names you know keep ask allah that keep do istighfar keep do takbir all day and and if you have time if you know if you don't have work in, in, in on friday on friday then from from fajr stay try to stay maybe you can sleep a little bit but after maybe two hours after after you do your um, um sun sunrise prayer uh, shrak or duha we call it duha pray, the duha prayer so if you stay from fajr or from you do like half an hour before fajr and you keep on if you can that will be perfect you can break in the middle a little bit you can sleep a little bit but that they're gonna we mainly we're gonna be fasting inshallah we all of us mainly we're gonna be fasting so what we do we're gonna fast we're gonna make a dua as much as you can all day try to make your dua may allah accept it any minute any minute you never know you never know it might be your i don't know as i said lucky day it, 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 you, maybe your life is gonna change completely from the reviews from the um, other people experience from the other videos um i found people they they, they done um, miracles in, in that day they, they they keep asking allah for stuff for it looks like a miracles and it happened that's why i encouraged i saw so encouraged and i was so confident to come and tell you the message guys to share with you the message which is some people they, they say it in arabic video so i said okay i'm gonna translate it to you as well whenever i see any video important uh, in, in arabic i will come and translate it to you so basically, I found a lot, lot of people who said, you work hard in that day, your life will change in, in the will of Allah. Inshallah, if you work hard in this day, your whole life is going to be changed. Changing is not impossible. Change is possible. The most is, uh, the most possible. But when you work hard toward change, when you change your mentality, when you, you think that Allah can give you anything, uh, it benefits you. Because sometimes you ask about something, it might hurt you. So ask Allah to give you the stuff, it benefits you in your life, to help you in your journey, to make your life ease and, and nice, to enjoy the journey. We're not here to be su suffer. We're not here to be suffer. Allah not send us to, to, into the earth to be suffer. To be tested, yeah, we are we here to be tested. But in the main times, we enjoy while we are testing. We can take the test in a nice way or we can t take the test as a hard way so we ask Allah to give us a nice way the easiest way possible so mainly I keep I keep do the, I keep repeat myself again dua takbir istighfar hawqalala hawla wa la quwata illa billah all the day you just if, if you can manage to do the sadaqa in the same day that'd be fine if you, if you don't have time you can just do sadaqa one before one day before fasting uh, imagine this is Arafah's day Allah said in Arafah's day I will forgive one year Previ one previous year for you and one year ahead I will give you forgiving so it's Arafah's day and it's Friday 
and you are fasting and Allah said if you are fasting Allah will if you do um, dua while you are fasting Allah will never turn you back without answering you back so, so imagine you fasting uh, is Arafa Arafa's day Juma's day it's it's uh, it's amazing it's amazing do not let, let it go guys do not let it go this is a chance it's a golden chance to change your life golden chance so please 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 try to to make yourself a timetable follow the timetable this is a special day if you can take a day off from your, your your work that will be perfect if you don't and like me i have to work half day but at least make sure the the two hours or the one hour bef be before maghrib Arafah's day before Maghrib, at least make sure one hour before or half an hour even before, sit down and make a dua, real dua, cry, you know, just have tears, make your best, wish, ask Allah to, 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 fulfill, you, to fulfill your wish, all your wishes become true, all your dreams become, become true, so just put an effort. The whole the whole day do not let it go like that like any other day or just keep yourself cooking and uh, tidying and cleaning the house or uh, you go for shopping to do shopping for eat and no 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 do that before or after but not in that day this day is kind of um an open day for your dreams to come true so make sure you not waste the day make sure you put an effort do not let it go like that they make the most of the day because we're not quite sure if what happened next year are we still alive to to witness next year to be there and next year or or no so at least we are alive alhamdulillah we are healthy alhamdulillah if if you're not healthy ask allah to give you health if you know you're not um not well off ask allah to give you money to 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 support you financially to to be to live nicely anything it come to your mind i have here 10 stuff or may 11 10 or 11 in here in this book try to to write anything anything um to go to hajj next year to go to umrah um to, to have kids uh family peace or you have a good relationship with your law in laws you have a good relation with your uh, managers uh your boss and every anything anything you can imagine you know exactly what you want more than me for myself i know i need 10 things i ask the law for in the day of Laylatul Qadr, night of Laylatul Qadr, I stated th four wishes. One of them came true. I still have three. But by now, I said, okay, people said you can write the less, you can ask more. Why I'm not really dreaming big? So I, I start to write more stuff. Maybe Allah give me more knowledge in the Quran, uh, to understand the Quran better, to uh, to make videos for you, to encourage you guys more videos. Because sometimes I feel la really lazy. So I said, okay, well, uh, tomorrow, maybe after. So I asked Allah to give me a way to spread knowledge for people, to share my knowledge with people, to encourage people to be good. Um, you guys try and, and give me your experience. If you have a good experience, just share it with me. I don't really like only bad experience and stuff like that. It's not encouraging much. Um, so if, if you, anything fulfilled, we will do it now from from now we will kind of make um agreement you guys are gonna do agreement with me so we, you all going to write your list and we will see we will you will update update me if any any of these dreams come true you in the in your list come true during the year because we still con contacting now we're still contacting so basically we will put it this year different we'll make it this year arafa arafa's day is different this year it will open a huge doors inshallah for for all of us for all the people who's watching me from everywhere everywhere because now i feel like oh everywhere but now i have people from here and from there so so inshallah my voice will reach a lot of people everywhere in the world i hope you guys share this message message between people between people you know because lots of people they just keep themselves busy in and out of us they're cleaning and tidying and shopping so tell them to keep their to keep this day as as for allah to just make kind of like leave everything just keep yourself free to worship allah properly in this day focus in your dua focus in your dua spend hours in your dua spend hours for to ask allah for to give for to give you forgiving forgiveness spend hours to ask allah to reward you with heaven for those a'la highest for those ask inshallah i will give allah will give you this is a day this is a day so basically Focus in that day. From now, think what I have to do in your in Arafah's day. Write it down. 
be organized organize your ideas he said okay um i'm gonna write it down what all what the stuff i want to ask allah to give me so basically uh, yeah from time to time uh, from this time to this time i'm going to do istighfar from this time to this time i'm gonna do hawqala maybe one thousand time istighfar thousand time hawqala thousand time uh durud ibrahim salatu ala nabi um i will make like one hour or one hour and a half two hours for dua you you manage your time i'm not gonna to give you kind of like fixed uh, timetable you guys know your time very well and some some of you have kids some other they have like because they are students they go to university school and exams uh, some other they are working so i i know I'm, i know my schedule i know i'm working afternoon so before and after i keep just focusing what i do i just keep doing my stuff in order and I will, I will not miss. Inshallah, I'm not gonna miss anything because we, if you not write it down, you, you, you will miss it. You, you might miss the day. You will find okay. Uh, I need to do Surat Al Kahf. Uh, I need to do this. I need to do that. You will find yourself completely miss it. No, try to be organized. This day, special day. If if you are if you are planning for a wedding or a birthday or something, you guys plan ahead. You, you already organize it from before. So it's exactly the same. Try to do the same. Organize it from now. Plan ahead. Okay. Friday. Friday from time to time I do that. From this, from that. I, I will I'll be organized. I'm not going to miss any kind of this stuff. I'm not going to miss it. And inshallah, 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 you will fill everything. You guys fulfill. You will, you will fulfill every wish you ask it for. Sorry, guys. I, I try to, you know, I have a lot of idea. I want to say it quickly that why sometimes i'm really struggle but you understand what i want to say you understand me you understand me very well if you don't understand ask in the the, the comment box the, then and i will I, I will repeat again but really what i want to say there is a hope severe hope a big hope in that day seriously if you trust allah 100 percent and you ask allah from your reason from your sincere heart inshallah inshallah you'll get what you want Believe me, inshallah, Allah, Allah will, will give you what you want, even before the next next year. But, as I said, you have to believe that it's possible. If you not believe that it's possible, you're not going to achieve anything. Believe that Allah is a wasa, Allah is a massive, Allah is a huge, Allah is, he can give you. Allah is a merciful, he can give you what you ask for. If you believe it, inshallah, you receive it. If you believe, you will receive if you believe that Allah can give you and Allah, if, if you want, he will give you and you, you ask him nicely that he give you, Allah, inshallah, will, will give you everything you ask for. Inshallah, will make your heart happy. Allah, make all your hearts happy, guys. Everywhere you are following me there, from, from everywhere. Allah makes you happy and safe and you fulfill everything you, you're looking for. Everything you dream, everything you, you wish, everything, inshallah, it will be possible for you. Trust me. Just do put some effort. Enjoy, enjoy it, guys. Enjoy it. It's not like okay, I'm gonna read it from a piece of paper. Allah, 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 Allah this kind. No, 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 no. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. No, 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 no. Feel it. Feel it. If you say astaghfirullah, you have to feel it. If you ask Allah for something, feel it. Imagine it that it's happened. Imagine that Allah gave it to you. Feel the stuff. Live in the situation. Just live. Uh, be in a, in a, in a situation. It's not kind of only repeating by your verb it's just word of mouth or repeating with your tongue and that's it no 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 it's about what you believe it's you feel it feeling here is really important imagine you, you talk to allah and you give all your feeling and you think about every single word you said in dua every single istighfar you don't need it's not matter to, to say ten thousand time no just even if you do even hundred or thousand and something like that but slowly and and you remember just try to Focus on what you say. If I said astaghfirullah, then focus it. If you say hawqala, la hawla wa la quwata illa, focus on that. If you say um, uh, durud ibrahim, Allahumma salli wa sallam ala Sayyidina Muhammad, focus on that. Just keep focus in each word you, 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 you say, guys. Each word coming out from your mouth. Just think about it. Think about it and feel good. When you do your dua, feel good. Yes, I said you have tears. Yeah, because kind of, okay, Allah, you are my own God. And said... Uh, uh, kind of i don't have how low i don't have any any power um i don't have any you know any way anymore to to, to i do, I done my best yeah i done my best i left it for you guys i just left the whole situation for you to sort it out for me i done my best i cannot do more than that i just left the whole situation for you i surrender myself to you to sort the situation out for me and to give me what you want in your own way for for all my best 
to, to do it in, in a, my, my best way not in because sometimes it's okay I, I need money I need money so someone die and you, you inherit yeah but someone die I don't want to stuff to come in a not nice way I want stuff to come in a, in a nice way and for my own benefit not against my own benefit to be to help my, to help me to sort out my business not against my business so some people say okay I want to marry oh Allah give me a husband oh Allah give me a husband and then after a while she get divorced or something even today one of my friends says okay I've been reading Surah Al-Baqarah uh, to get married and I got married but guess what now I'm got divorced why because I stopped to read Surah Al-Baqarah in the middle once I got married I stopped to read Surah Al-Baqarah I stopped to do istighfar I stopped to do anything so it's not a nice way to deal with Allah, guys. You deal Allah only when you need something. And once you get your, st your stuff, you, you give up. And, and you don't not, you, you not care anymore. This is not a nice way to deal with Allah, actually. So, sister asked Allah she, she want to marry. And she read Surah Al-Baqarah. Once she got married. And she said, okay, I got married. I don't need to read Surah Al-Baqarah now. She got divorced now. Her husband asked for divorce. She said, well, I stopped to read Surah Al-Baqarah. You guys, the same you do with Surah Al-Baqarah, the same we do with Durud Ibrahim, the same we do with Istighfar. Each one of us has got his own thing. Some people, they're not reading Surah Al-Baqarah, but they, they, they fulfill everything with Istighfar. Some people, they, they do miracles with uh, Hawqala. Some people, other people, they do miracles with, with, uh, with uh, Durud Ibrahim. It's different from person to person. Salamu alaykum. You guys, uh, the crows, they become my friends. As you hear, once I talk, especially if I talk something about Allah, they come. Yesterday, I went to the garden to, you know, I, to dry my stuff. I washed my stuff in the washing machine. I went to the garden. Once they saw me there, they start to me quack, 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 to say quack, quack. I say, salamu alaikum. Now, even I see a crow, because I have a big family, I see salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And I see one dua. There is a dua you say when you see, you, you said that when you when you see a crow you have to say it and then um i give them food now i feed them i just every day i give them a little bit bread because you know at the end of the day they are creature of allah so i will consider them as a pigeon and anything like that so basically they welcome me every time i go outside so they welcome me they come around they keep quacking quacking as if i feel like an angel is following me it's just a feeling you know? maybe it's not right but it's something it's just come in my mind it might be an angel Allah send it with me to follow me when I'm going anywhere because now I see them everywhere I remember it was rarely to see them maybe very hard to see one or two but now I see the whole family and the little baby the little baby is black small very small you see something like that they looks very cute actually in the beginning the first day to give them food I was really scared and I was just throw the food and run away and later on they, they start to come like uh, used to me so now they're waiting for me until i put the food and i come back a little bit i step back a little bit they come now to eat and they they flying and as and they come around they, they feel kind of thank you stuff like that um I, why, why i said that oh i said that because they come and they interrupt and then they walk quack quack and they said okay guys because i explained before that i, I saw them when i read sort of since that day they become my friends when I talk, they can hear me and they come. So, um, yeah, so that was a message for today. Uh, it's almost half an hour. I really don't want to make it longer than that. It will be really hard to upload or download. So basically, that the, was the advice for the day. Please, 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 please try to follow the advice and tell me the result. Inshallah, will, Allah will give you all a very good result. Inshallah, you will all benefit from um, uh, Yawm Arafah, uh, the day of Arafah will all fulfill your dreams fulfill your dreams so keep updating me and i will keep updating you if something really big happened with me i always come and share it with you guys um i have a big hope i have severe hope in the day i have lots of lots lots of my my secret fairy book <laughs> i have a secret fairy book and then the tiny teeny look here like hard but it's not with me right now i will show you later on but i have a lot of here in my list if anything come true i will come and share it with you inshallah so uh that was the message for today and i hope you a happy eid inshallah a nice eid enjoy your, the eid um may allah give you blessing and peace uh, good health good wealth everything you ask for and even if you don't ask for allah give you mercy and give you um reward you guys or reward us for the firdaus al-a'la inshallah and uh, happy Eid for you, your sister Islam Ranyal Gindi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Eid Mubarak.